Um, my name is Jill McCall, and uh, I'm the Executive Director of Compassion Ministries of Waco. I am a native Wacoan, born and raised here. Um, went to Waco Public Schools, graduated from Baylor University. I went to work at McLennan County Juvenile Probation. Started out as a volunteer coordinator there and then went on to be a probation officer. Did it three years and then I had a nice 15 year vacation. Um, I had children, stayed at home with them. But while I was at home, uh, on that vacation, I did a lot of volunteer work, and I started a program, a volunteer program, called the Mighty Mustang Award. Um, it was a state finalist in PTA that year, so I decided I would run for school board. So that was a very much a learning experience for me. Um, I'd been on boards, but smaller boards, but one that really had... Um, such importance and, and meaning and, um, you know, people were, um, you know, they were dependent on you to represent them, to be some kind of uh, voice that um, they felt like they could be heard in that kind of venue. I became a member of the Junior League of Waco, which is a volunteer organization for women. Uh, to promote volunteerism and getting involved in the community. And I thank the Junior League probably most importantly for exposing me to things that I probably never would have been exposed to. It caused me to um, expand what I was comfortable doing. I learned that it was probably a better thing for me to do something I knew nothing about and learn something about rather than just keep doing the things that I felt comfortable with. And another phenomenal experience was I was uh, chairman of the Clifton House, which we obtained that property and and that also was a very interesting time in that about half the, well, about half the league was very much uh, in favor of us getting that building and uh, renovating it for our headquarters and about another half were vehemently opposed to uh, getting that building and renovating uh, it. But we we got it through. Uh, I don't think we lost many members. Some weren't happy for a while, but then everybody came around once they saw really what a beautiful old house that was. But then it was time for me to go back to work. And so I um, went back to juvenile and I was there from 1993 until 99. And I did, I think, every job there was there. I was the training officer. I mean, I could, you know, I could handcuff and take somebody down and, and I had to train people to do that. And um, I did placement there, uh, placement of children outside the home. And I loved my time at Juvenile, but then I guess it was my those kids that I'd stayed home with. The first, second one was going off to college. And I was like, I need a, I, I need something else in my life. I, I need a challenge in my life again. And because um, I wanted to, and so uh, a friend of mine um, told me that there was this organization, Compassion Ministries of Waco. Yeah. I came on as executive director then on June 1 of 1999, and I've been there almost 20 years now, which is unbelievable to think about. Um, I, actually, I was born into a family of three, mom, dad, three kids, but at the age of four, my dad died. My mom had three kids, four, seven, and ten. Um, the difference being there wasn't a Compassion Ministries then, and the difference also being my mother had the support of an extended family that was able to assist her both uh, emotionally, financially, until she was able to get a job. And uh, the mission is my passion, and that's why it's been such a part of my life. and and who I am, so. Wonderful. Yeah, you know, I always tell people, I never really believed in um, a, a calling, because I never knew a preacher that went to a smaller church where he made less money. <laughs> but I can say that everything I've done in my life has prepared me 
for what I did at Compassion. I mean, you know, we're at the Junior League renovating a building. We renovated the old house. We built a new building uh, on the school board, advocating for people, um, being a promoter of women and people, in, like in a volunteer program, at, like like the Mighty Mustang Award at, at Mountain View. So all of those things, I think, came together and set me on this path to do what I've done the last 20 years. Waco has to be proud of Compassion because it is the nicest, most welcoming, nurturing, healthy, safe environment for families with kiddos than any place. I mean, I always tell folks at, at our graduations, I do this thing where I get out a $20 bill and I say, who would like this $20 bill? Everybody does. Okay. I wad it up. I stamp, I stomp on it. Who wants this $20 bill? They still want it. And the point of the story is obviously the $20 bill doesn't change in value. The value is always there. And sometimes things happen that you don't want to happen and that make you feel bad, but the value is still deep down inside. And so then when we get to graduation with our residents that successfully complete our program and to hear their stories and to see the smiles on their faces and that, that hopefulness that just beams from them. That's the best way I can put it. I always tell people if our donors, our friends, come to a graduation and you will understand totally why you support this organization and what it can do for people and um, because it's there. You see it, you see it in their face, you see it in how they talk, you see it in their posture. I mean, you know, they're standing up straight and tall, they're happy, they feel like they've got a chance again and that um, they're gonna be okay. They're gonna be okay.